What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. Let's fucking go! The Hornets win the league pass Monday night championship. The Monday night league pass championship versus the fucking Celtics. Fuck Jason Tatum. I'm sorry. This is this is not a PG episode. I'm turned. The Hornets did it. They did what they need to do. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yo. And the game was like, the game's been over for like 30 minutes, bro. I've just been too, I've been too turned. I've been too turned. I had to come down, bro. Oh my god, bro. This is exactly what this team needed. Miles Bridges said that in his post-game interview. This is exactly what this team needs to turn it around. The next two games are against the fucking Wizards and the Orlando Magic. You have to win those two games. After tonight, you have to win those two games. Oh, my God, bro. Bro, like, I'm going to get into, you know, but, bro, you watch LaMelo really solidifying himself in the NBA as a fucking superstar. Not an all-star. He's playing like a superstar. 36 points, 8 assists, 9 rebounds, 15 for 27 from the field, 56%, 5 for 11 from 3, 45%. Bro, if this is the shit, where it's like, if Luca was doing this shit, they'll be on his dick. And I've seen a few pages posting what LaMelo's been doing these last eight, nine games. But it's not ESPN. It's not getting that national recognition. But stuff like this, against the number one team, you drop Drew Holiday in the fourth quarter, score. Hey, that's the type of shit national media can't ignore. And that's what's making me even that much more happy. The Celtics number one team in the NBA. On a Monday night league pass, nobody's watching. Fuck you, Jason Tatum. Fuck you. Gosh, I'm so happy, bro. I mean, and it's like, bro, LaMelo does this shit all while getting no calls. LaMelo ball shot one free throw tonight. One. Hornets didn't shoot any free throws the whole fourth quarter. I got to give so much props to this team because we fought like hell. 16 for 17 from the free throw line. That's what won this game. Miles Bridges is what won the game. But 16 for 17 from the free throw line is what won the game. Anything else? I mean, come on, bro. I mean, the Celtics shot 18 for 28. That's what lost him the game. And I mean, if you're a Horn, you know, if you're a Hornets fan, you know how important free throws are. I mean, we had to go 23 for 23 to get a win. I don't remember what game that was, but I remember we had to shoot 23 for 23 to win. This team overcomes the refs, overcomes Jason Tatum 45 points. Miles Bridges game winner. LaMelo clutch play after clutch play. Gordon Hayward actually shows the fuck up. I got to clap it up for this fucking team, bro. And you want to know the craziest part? I've been the one telling people all fucking week these last few weeks, bro. Just wait. We not even at full strength. You can't judge this team because LaMelo's out there running around with fucking G-leaguers. Let's wait and see. Let's wait. Look at tonight. We should have won that Knicks game. PJ and Gordon didn't show up, but tonight they did. And we got the fucking dub. And guess what? We're still missing our leading scorer in Terry Rozier. We're still missing our leading scorer. We will be okay. But it starts Wednesday versus the Wizards. That's a game that you got to win. I hope we whoop their ass. Now I'm, I'm going to get into the video because I don't know. You know, done did my rant. Gosh, I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy. I'm being. I'm gonna be just at work cheesing tomorrow for no reason. All right, let's get into it. We got off to a good start. 
That's why the Hornets won this game. The Hornets didn't start the game down 15, trying to claw our way back. At one point, we were down 18. But that's not how the game started. We got off to a good start. We got off to a good start, a respectable game. Didn't let it get out of hand too quick. That's why we were able to, to end up winning this game. And, you know, Miles Bridges starting, I have to commend Steve Clifford for that. It made the difference. Now, Miles didn't even have a good start to the game. He was missing layups. He was trying hard to get to the basket, missing layups, missing threes. But he got to the foul line a few times. But he had a two-point first quarter. We had a 25-point first quarter. Um, I mean, LaMelo did his thing. And, and, you know, that's what kept us hanging around. Um, it wasn't really until, I believe, that second, third quarter. Well, at halftime, we were down like, what, seven, eight? It wasn't even that bad. It was that third quarter where Jason Tatum just went off. No, he really went off in the second quarter. But we were able to sustain that. It was just the third quarter where, I mean, it just got kind of ugly. It just got ugly for us, man, but we sustained it, and that's all that matters. We got off to a good start. We put the right the right foot forward. Miles British starting. It made an impact. Like I said, he wasn't the most efficient to start the game, but the physicality that he brings. He's not somebody who's afraid to match up with Jason Tatum and fucking bump him, hit him, all types of she's not scared. He brings a certain level of physicality. And I mean, he was three for 13 tonight. But what does he do? 15 fucking rebounds. Still has 14 points. Still hits the game winning shot. Still makes all six of his free throws. That's what this team was missing. Still gets the game winning steal. The game winning rebound. Game winning shot. Every fucking thing. Bro. Gosh, man. And I mean, PJ coming off the bench still gives you 15, 6 for 13 shooting. Now, one rebound is disappointing as hell in 28 minutes. But hey, he does have two steals and a block. And um, he said that him and Steve Clifford talked. Um, before Miles was even coming back, uh, around the time he was coming back, like, hey, you might end up on the bench. And PJ was okay with that, and it ended up happening three games in to Miles' return, and I think it was for the best. You know, because if you're PJ, you still played 28 minutes tonight. You're still going to get your minutes. Make the most of it. You're still going to be out there on the floor with Miles. You're still, you know. I don't understand why Miles coming back had him and Gordon playing how they did the last few games, but it is what it is. Move on. Just play better. Overcome Peyton Pritchard becoming Steph Curry. Now, it's something where it shouldn't even be happening because the reason why it's like, why do these random players always pop off versus the Hornets? Because they're wide open. You leave any NBA player wide open, they're going to make him. And once you see two, three go in, you're hot. So even if you start contesting them, they're probably still going to keep going in. Like, bro, that shit was pissing me off, but we overcame it. And that's all, that's all I was telling myself watching the game. Jalen Brown's playing like shit. And fuck Jalen Brown. Because he stole $1,000 from me last night. Jalen Brown cost me $1,000. You know, I'm not even going to get into that. But fuck Jalen Brown. He just had 12 points versus the Grizzlies. Gets in foul trouble here tonight. He's not a factor. Okay, Tatum goes off. Let him go off. Make somebody like Peyton Pritchard beat you. I'm not going to count on that. Drew Holiday. I'm not going to count on that. I was more scared of Porz I was scared of Porzingis. Because I know how he can get. But, I mean, am I worried about Drew Holiday? Fuck no. Peyton Pritchard had 21. We sustained that. That's all we had to do. 
Tatum went off. He had his 45 ball. Fuck him. Who cares? He missed the game with a free throw. With a game tying free throw. Like a loser. So I don't care. He's in a pack. Fuck him. All that talk. Six. And bro, the thing about what Tatum said, it's not like he said it yesterday. He said it in the middle of July for no fucking reason. Sub the Hornets. Sub. Like, why? Monday night league pass. Embarrassment. And I mean, like, LaMelo answering, bro. Tatum come down, hit a big shot. LaMelo come right down. Next possession, hit a big shot. And that's all I was telling myself. And, and, I mean, if you watch the Hornet stream, Dell Curry said the same thing. Just hang around, bro. They're not going to keep making everything. Just hang around. Hang around. And that's what we did. We hung around. Keep it within five, six. Just stay within punching distance. Just just hang on. Your opportunity is going to come. And it did. But I have to give it up to LaMelo for keeping us right there. Answering back. Never letting it get out of reach. Because, I mean, fucking 36 point performance. And he actually got some help. Moving the ball. Moving the ball. It was important. The Hornets had 29 assists tonight. The Celtics had 19. You move the ball, bro. This team's greatest asset is the depth of this team. Now, I know the last few games you probably, you know, there's not, yes. Bro, think about this team. LaMelo could go off any night. Brandon Miller could go off any night. Miles could go off any night. We've seen Gordon go off any night. Mark Williams might give you 20 and 20. Had 18 and 16 tonight. Haven't mentioned PJ. We know he, he'll go off for 30 at any point. Haven't even mentioned our leading scorer in Terry Rozier. Now, this is going to be our greatest asset. Nick Richards didn't a double double off the bench. Like, this is the type of stuff that's going to make this Hornets team a good team. It's why we were a good team in the past few years. It's just health. Can we stay healthy? But there's every year, the Hornets are the only team to have seven players have 20 point games in a season. Now, Kelly Oubre is gone. That's one less player. But, I mean, you get Brandon Miller back. So, hey, same thing. The depth is the greatest asset on this team. Moving the ball is important. Everybody chipping in is what's going to get this team wins. For real. And defense. The defense was so much better. It was so much better in that second half. It was so much better in that fourth quarter, that overtime. Overcoming bullshit calls, playing good defense. It's a foul for what? You look at the replay, you don't even see a foul. Had to overcome the refs. We had to overcome a lot tonight to get this win. It means a lot to me. I hope it means a lot to the people in that locker room because they earned it. I'm at home watching. They earned that. Um, now, something, I mean, I don't, you know, we on a high note here. I don't want to talk about something bad. But Bryce McGowan, he's useless, bro. He's not an NBA player, man. I thought he, I thought he might have been ready. He's ass, bro. Send him to Greensboro, man. It's over. Like, I mean, you sent Amari Bailey down to Greensboro. He had a fucking thirty point game. You sent Leaky Black down to Greensboro. He got a triple double. Well, fuck these these niggas should have been playing. And you put him Bryce out there. He playing like shit every night. He hasn't shown nothing. Fourteen minutes, three points. One for six from the field, one for six from three. All he's out there doing is missing wide open threes and getting cooked on defense. Why is he out there? Shit's stupid. We should have fucking kept Chevy Chevy behind Luke. <laughs> Shit. Like, bro, I just don't get it. I don't understand. I mean, you know, and that's where it's like I'm talking about. You saw what happened when we replaced those Bryce and JT and Tail Maladon extended minutes with Mark. Oh, I mean with Miles. You saw what happened. 
Now imagine when we replace this Bryce and I mean even Ish Smith had a good game, but you take these Bryce and Ish Smith 33 minutes combined and you give them Terrell's year. Come on, dog. Come on. I mean, but for real though, he's really not an NBA player, bro. He's ass, man. Like I, I don't want to see him no more. I know, I mean, you gotta play. You've got to, you know, get some bodies in there so these guys can rest. But, I mean, shit, get Terry back. Why the fuck was he questionable one game after the injury and now he's been out? Either the medical team didn't know what they were doing, that next game was about to put him in harm's way, or either he should be fucking ready to go. Either way, the medical team looks incompetent. But, I mean, what's going on? I mean, I'm seeing... um. Book night out there dunking and fucking practice. Is he ready to go or not? Nick Smith got a DMP, but he's choosing to play Bryce. Certain things were just like, what are we doing? Anyway, I digress from all that. The Hornets being clutch. It was amazing to see. LaMelo, I mean, he hits the game when the layup, he gets fouled on it. Well, you think at the time it's the game when the well, game tying layup that forced the OT. He got fouled on it. Should have been a free throw and won the game. Doesn't get the call. Okay. It is what it is. Brandon Miller making plays late, hitting the three. I already talked about Melo dropping Drew Holiday. Then you got Gordon. Getting a few bucks late. He missed one bad as hell. Pissed me off. I started, well, I, I didn't even get mad. I started laughing. It was so bad. But he made up for it. Next play, boom. Dunk. Miles, game winning three. Miles, game winning stop. Game winning rebound. I mean,. Brandon Miller on the rebound. It was Brand, uh, Miller and Miles. And then he gets this steal late. Like, bro, all of it, man. All of it. Just clutch. And, I mean, in the post-game conference, LaMelo said he's healthy, and that's why he's putting up these 30-point performances. He's finally healthy. He got some games under his belt. He done shook the rust off. He said he didn't play this summer. He was rehabbing. He's healthy now. He's good to go. Boom. Man, I'm so happy for this team, man. Um, I'm getting to these stats real quick because I'm almost at 20 minutes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You see the passion. You see what's going on with on this channel, man. This is a real Hornets fan-based type channel. Please hit that subscribe button, especially you know, almost gave me 20 minutes of your life. That's an episode of TV right there. Hit that subscribe. Um, Gordon Hayward, 20 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, a block. Six for 15, 40% from the field, 50% from three, one for two, seven for eight from the free throw line. He made his clutch free throws to ice the game. Gotta show him love. 20 points. It was a quiet 20, but it was a 20 plus 20 plus minus. That's how you respond when motherfuckers talk about benching you. Miles Bridges, 14 points, 15 rebounds. Got to be a career high. He played 45 minutes tonight, the most out of anybody. Three games back from not playing in over a year. Be out there playing 45 minutes, still handling business. Yeah, he was 3 for 13 from the field. That's 23%. He was two for seven from three. That's 28%. But what he do? Hit that game when he shot. Six for six from the free throw line. Getting to the free throw line because the shot wasn't falling. Still had five assists. His facilitating has been great. Gets you a steal. All while only having one turnover and one foul. You know how impressive that is to play 45 minutes, have five assists, and only. One turnover, only one foul guarding Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, poor Zingas. Bro, I got to give props to Miles, bro. Dead ass. 
This is impressive. Um, Mark, 16, no, 18 points, 16 rebounds, two assists, three blocks, one steal. If Mark can play like this, bro, every game, and I know that's a tough ask to ask somebody to average 18 and 16. I don't need that for Mark. He's averaging 14 and 10. I just need that every night. The game, well, and the reason he's averaging 14 and 10 is because he has games like this where he has 18 and 16. Then he has games where he has 7 and 7. So now he's at 14 and 10. Like, no, bro, I need you to be this or at least be your average. Be 14 and 10 for us every night. Be 15 and 10 for us every night. If that's an average night, a good night is going to be shit like this, 20 and 20. I'm proud of him He's leading the NBA in, in, in field goal percentage. He knocked down his two free throws. Brandon Miller struggled a little bit. Um, I think he re-aggravated his ankle a little bit, so we're going to have to monitor that. He played 39 minutes, well, 40 minutes. Nine points, only had nine, but had seven rebounds, four assists, two steals, a block. Only two turnovers, only two fouls, plus 22. He's out there guarding Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, he's a rookie. But he's making he's making it tough for him now. Jay, don't get me wrong, Jason Tatum was doing what he was doing, but some of them shots were contested as hell. He just made it. I mean, shit. God, bro, I'm, I'm proud of this team. And I mean, bro, Brandon Miller, the shot still ain't falling for him. But hey, when we need it. It dropped. LaMelo, 36 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, a block. He had 5 turnovers. He had 5 fouls. And yeah, he had 5 fouls in the fourth quarter. Him not fouling out that overtime, I got to give him props. 15 for 27. That's 56%. Oh, my God. I already talked about it. 5 for 11, 46%. Made his one free throw. PJ stepped up 15 points, 6 for 13, 3 for 9 from 3. It did something. Two steals, a block. That's all we need. PJ, Gordon, do something. Ishmith gave us 6 points, 3 assists. Some needed baskets that came in, in, in an important time in the game to keep us hanging around and not get blown out. Bryce Ass, already talked about it. JT Thor, cardio in 4 minutes. I'm so proud of what this team accomplished tonight. We got to build on it for it to mean something. We moved to four and nine. We're five games under 500. You look at the schedule. I mean, you got the Wizards up next, and it's a home game. The game before Thanksgiving, you got to get that. I mean, then, boom, you look at it. You're five and nine, okay? You're only four games back. You got the Magic. You got to win that. You're six and nine. You're only three games back. Everything becomes a little more <laughs> realistic. Then you got the Knicks. They don't already beat you twice early this season. You got to get them back. At least, you know, two and one in the series. Then next thing you know, you're seven and nine. You're two games back. You we play the Nets. They're ass. Next thing you know, we eight and nine. Then we got the Timberwolves coming in. We can beat them. Then, boom, next thing you know, you 500. Then we got the Heat. I mean, we already went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them earlier this year. In the in-season tournament game. And we play them twice. If we just split, hey, we 10-10 and 10 moving into later on in December where it gets tough for us. We have a tough December. It's going to be tough. I mean, we have a tough schedule, period. We're going to have to win games like we did tonight if we want to be a playoff team. But if you're a playoff team, you win the games that you had to win. Anyways, I'm wrapping this up because I'm at 24 minutes. If you enjoyed the content, like I said, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, oh, yeah, the same thing. Subscribe. If you're already on the channel, you're already part of Buzz Boys family, you comment down below how tonight's win made you feel. I know I was screaming. I know I was turned. But anyways, I'm back at it on Wednesday, man. Peace.